Well, we're going to put in some refinements now up in the lighthouse. A touch of dark, almost black color to give us the black railing up there. And uh, we're going to start with the figures. I'm using a real strong, thick paint. Something close to, I don't know, even butter. It's not going to move anywhere. The painting is, the paper is dry, so I don't have that danger, but I need to distinguish it from that midground. The midground is quite dark, quite dramatic. I need these figures to come forward. I'm not going to leave them black. I'm painting the painting them as a silhouette, and when I'm happy with the shape, I'll add some uh, blue or some red or other color to indicate the color of a shirt or shorts or a bag. Uh, the figures are pretty big, you know, compared to the other one that we did last week with Fog. The reason for that is they're in a, maybe the focal point of this painting, and uh, we're, fo we're kind of following behind them. I want to make them prominent. Uh, the lighthouse feels distant, but I want to, I'm using a bigger figure here to, and it's closer, it's actually closer to us, to make it about them and what they're doing. They're going to be holding hands. How romantic is that? Walking on the beach, holding hands under the moonlight. Well, it's based on imagination, so it's something we like to do, you know. If we're in the mood, it's something we like to do, and the moonlight's creating a bit of mood. That's what I'm trying to capture here. I'm fiddling around now. You can tell I'm trying to adjust and get a feel for the descent of the land towards the water. That's what I'm doing. I'm also concentrating the the color in it toward, I'm sorry, the brightness towards the center of the painting. So I'm muting some of the sand on the left. See how that works. I gain more interest in that uh, area around the figures by doing that. Also there's a nice dry brush that's a, a resulting in this center area. I'm really enjoying that. Next stage is to maybe bring in uh, some color, a little bit of color there, a little bit of using some of that lavender that we used last week. Uh, it has some opacity and it'll give a little bit of lightness to the shirt on our fellow and uh, complement that with uh, some reddish color to the shirt of our gal. Call him Mr. Blue, Mrs. Red. As they walk through the painting, walking towards the lighthouse, maybe they're staying up in that end. Boy, I'm really having to create a story here. Yeah, it's a visual, it's a visual story, but you, you can you can certainly ad lib your own literal story if you wish. As it gets closer, I'm going to be adding a. They don't have a child yet, but they've got a. a, a an Irish setter that's going to enter the scene in a second, followed by some strong um, uh, reflections. I'm, I'm going to put him in now, a little closer to us. He's lagging behind. I like to paint uh, creatures, even small ones like this. I feel can add uh, uh, quality to the painting of of joy and naturalness. You know, the, seeing a dog at the beach is very commonplace and they enjoy the water just as much as we do. So I'm showing the tail, showing the head, a couple of legs. That's enough. You know, we don't need a lot more. I'm mixing up more of that ultramarine blue. I'm going to paint a reflection. Bam. There it is. That's all we need. A few lines, a body coming towards us, giving us that dramatic moonlit night as they come across the shiny water, the shiny sand. Starting to assume a, a finished quality to it. All of this has been guesswork. I really had no idea what I was getting into. I painted a couple moonlight paintings, but it's something that's a little bit new to me. I guess I'll have to go out this summer and, and make some more observations because, like I said, this is a, <laughs> a lot of guesswork. Anyway, the, the overall tonality in this painting is quite dark. 
uh, the, the whites are important. In fact, maybe, you know, they, they have a visual element. They're quite significant, maybe one of the most significant parts of this painting. So it's been a great exercise in using white uh, around the edge of the clouds, through the road, through the sheen on the, on the wet sand. And uh, lastly, as we get to the final touches, we're going to regain some whites that, you know, perhaps we lost along the way. I don't mind to finish off a painting with some highlights of white taken right from the tube. And it's basically, as I said, to kind of regain a highlight that you might have lost along the way. Okay. There it is. There it is. Some finishing touches. Not too bad. And, yeah, I guess... We're just adding a few more reflections. Can't have enough reflections, huh, Gary? Okay. Anything else we want to do at this point? Maybe uh, go for that white now? Yeah. See, there's a highlight. Right on the top of the head. Pulls it out from the, from the dark that's behind them. Makes them come closer to us. And uh, reflects the moonlight. Maybe one to the stone or in front of the stone and finish it. We'll put some on the lighthouse too, a little bit of a, a bright spot on the lighthouse to emphasize the, the strength of that moonlight. Where is that? There we go. These are the last touches, folks. It's been a long, arduous painting, but we're finally coming to the end. Dangerous time too. It's real easy to overdo it. This is a, a tough reflection climbing up the side of the, of the lighthouse And these are just coming to me as I'm painting it What would it look like to put a highlight on the roof or into the water or this or that?